called cell mesh is an ultra low power wireless self-organizing mesh system it can act as the core of a wireless sensor network it's a community oriented data collection and transmission network each L cell mesh consists of one cellular access center named CAC and many low power distributed access units named LDAU CAC is responsible for cellular network establishment and system maintenance. In addition to that, it is also in charge of nodes management, such as join-in, removal and replacement, as well as energy management. An LDAU node acts both as a data collection unit and a router. It communicates with CAC by multi-hop. If one path is blocked, it will automatically choose another one to ensure its effective communication. Each single L-cell mesh can cover a range with a diameter of 1,000 meters. A large-scale metropolitan area network can be extended and derived rapidly by increasing L-cell mesh cells. It's flexible to use L-cell mesh. LDAU can be embedded into various terminal devices. It can also be externally connected with different communication interfaces. CAC can be embedded into other network equipments to meet different needs. Advanced power management technologies used in L-cell mesh can maximize the battery life of the nodes in the following ways. LDAU nodes work in breathing mode with three states, sleep, listening and active. A duty cycle of less than 1% for all LDAU is available to save energy. In addition, different data speeds are used in different communication stages. Higher speed for wake-up and lower speed for payloads greatly improve wake-up efficiency and guarantee reliable data transmission, which achieves better power saving for the network. Use mechanism of breathing synchronization to all nodes in an L-cell mesh. All initial LDAU nodes breathe at random before network established. CAC synchronizes all nodes to make them sleep and listen at the same time, which enables communication more convenient and time-saving. During data transmission, the nodes will automatically adjust and correct its synchronization offset to improve the system efficiency. LDAU nodes can wake up a node with destination address. It's helpful for the source and the destination nodes to synchronize and establish communication rapidly. When data exchange between two nodes, only the neighboring related nodes will be active, while all the other nodes still keep asleep. Here gives an example to demonstrate the data exchange process between CAC and node C. We assume the best route is CAC to A to B to C and the best return route is C to D to A to CAC. Use balanced energy budget algorithm. CAC analyzes the remaining energy of each node, chooses the best path with the highest energy and avoids using some critical LDAU nodes excessively. This enables a balance in power consumption and increases the average lifetime of batteries. L-cell mesh supports remote device access. With the help of wireless handheld, it makes testing, installation and maintenance more convenient and easier. L-cell mesh also supports upgrade over the air, while functions added or business changed. It can be upgraded via remote device or wireless handheld without interrupting its normal operation. L-cell mesh operates in sub-1 GHz ISM band all over the world. The frequency band can also be customized according to radio frequency regulations in different countries. L-cell mesh is widely used in remote automatic meter reading, such as water, gas, heat meters, intelligent agriculture, smart home, oil field data collection, environmental, 
and ecological monitoring, security systems and sensor network systems. It's an ideal choice for various battery-powered applications.